Ah, the freedom of setting your own hours and working in your pajamas. But any work from home veteran will tell you it ain't that easy. We'll tell you why right after the cut. Hi everyone, for a student or recent grad, working from home can be a blessing, but it's also definitely a challenge. You might love the freedom of setting your own hours, rolling out of bed just before 9 a.m. or working in your jammies, but any work from home veteran will tell you it requires discipline, a lot of it. Believe it or not, the key to working from home effectively is to make the experience like an in-office workday. That's why the jobposting.ca team put together three tips to help you work from home like a pro. First things first, it's your responsibility to make sure you're as productive as possible. While your home may protect you from overheard phone calls and chatty colleagues, it also comes with its own set of distractions. And unlike traditional offices, there won't be a boss looking over your shoulder and making sure you're not on YouTube. In other words, working from home shouldn't mean curling up on the couch with a laptop. Instead, set up a home office in a place that offers the least distraction, whether it's a spare room or a corner of your kitchen. Then organize your desk as you would at the office, equipped with a computer, work phone, organizers, a lamp, even a plant. Create an environment that can get you mentally in the work zone. Next, when you aren't going into the office, it can get easy for life to begin to blend with work. For example, first you're responding to an email, then you're distracted by the ding from the washing machine, and then next thing you know, you're staying up late finishing assignments you should have completed during the day. To avoid this scenario, you have to draw a line between work and your responsibilities at home. The best way to do that is by setting office hours. Whether you're sticking to a 9 to 5 or an 11 to 7 schedule, share your work hours with your boss, and if you're living with roommates, make sure they recognize and respect your work hours. Finally, one of the perks about working from home is that you won't have to worry about which shoes best match your outfit or forgetting to wash your pants for the office. Unless you have a video conference scheduled, you have the freedom to wear whatever you want. But still, wearing your favorite sweatpants might not be a great idea. The thing is, dressing up can actually help you mentally transition from a homebody to an employee. While your colleagues won't be around to judge your wardrobe choices, you should do your best to look the part of someone who's productive and gainfully employed, which you are, even if it means dressing up for your pet goldfish. Overall, if you can follow these three tips, then you'll be able to chill at home while also crushing it at work. Thanks so much for watching this jobpostings.ca job hunt video. Be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you thought about today's career tips. Maybe you have a couple of your own that you'd like to share. And if you have any questions about this video or have requests for future job tip videos, please let us know. We'll do our best to answer everybody. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click the like button or share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below.